Hello and welcome to another tip on Maximo. Today we'll cover query-based reporting, or QBR. This tool has been available with Maximo beginning with version 7.1.1.4 and is completely integrated within the application. The capability to design, save, and run custom reports is now delivered to the end user, of course, following rules within security. You can add and remove as well as relabel fields. You have the capability to sort and to group. And you can, of course, schedule the report for um, on or off shift execution, repeated execution, and delivery. Without further ado, we'll go ahead and take a look in Maximo. We have uh, work order tracking. A query has been run. That's been further filtered. Uh, so we have a list of records. There is a shortcut on the toolbar, and the create report option is also present uh, within the select action run reports dialog. When you go to create a report using QBR, it will pre select a number of fields representing the fields that are on the list tab. Uh, beyond this, of course, you can remove these fields, add additional fields, and relabel. So we're going to add a couple of fields from the work order object, of which there are 116 showing as available. Rather than scrolling through them 10 at a time, I'm going to filter this list and find uh, two fields. I want to add target start as well as target finish. And as I push them down to the lower design area, you'll see the number of fields increment. And you can scroll down to confirm they actually have been added. You also have the capability to add fields from other parts of Maximo. So in this case, what I want to do is add the serial number from the asset record, assuming an asset's on the work order. Obviously, if not, it just won't be shown. Uh, within here, we have 57 fields. And again, I really don't want to scroll down to the field I'm looking for. So I'll put in something in the filter and I get the serial number. It's towards the end and I want to bring it a little closer to the asset. So I'm going to change the column order, refresh the report and go back to the top. And there we have it. I'll change the label here. We'll give the report a title. I'm going to choose to save it and close once I hit submit. And since I want to be able to run this report against other queries and filtering that I may do in the application, I'm going to deselect this checkbox. That way, the query that I've run won't be incorporated into the report, and the report can be run against other queries. I'll go ahead and submit. And if you wanted to get into sorting or grouping, you have the sort tab, which would be the next tab. And then subsequent to that, again, would be scheduling, which would, of course, allow you to deliver it via email, PDF, or Excel. Um, you should also make sure that your pop-ups are either allowing this site to generate reports for you or uh, your pop-up blocker is just completely turned off. And more than likely, you will have done that already because you are using Maximo. Uh, so here we have the finished report. Uh, has serial number as requested and relabeled, the target start and the target finish, as well as the other fields that come from the work order tracking list. Uh, thanks very much. And for more information, please visit our website, www.projectech.com, and go to User Central.